windy today. <laughs> I can't bring, uh, Cindy has to stay with the dogs, three dogs, three or four dogs off leash. Off leash. <laughs> now Let me stop here just for a moment and address what you just saw. That was a pack of dogs charging at me. It was only three in the pack, but it was still a pack. And their instincts change when they're in a pack like that. And the way I handled that, as I had to put the camera down, I lowered my head. I did not look them in the eye. I lowered this hand as well. And I put both feet together. And I just kind of lowered my head and I spoke nicely to them. And that's how you handle it. Do not ever run from a dog unless you know you can beat him. Uh, but I didn't know if they were friendly dogs or if they were coming to tear me to pieces. It turns out they were just a bunch of friendly dogs, probably a bunch of rescue dogs, and there was no problem at all. But don't run from a dog. Don't show any aggression. Don't raise your voice. Don't scream or anything like that. And mainly, do not show any fear. And you'll probably be okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we got some pretty babies. <laughs> hey, pretty boy. Whoop. There's some petroglyphs. <laughs> cave here. I'm going to see if I can get in the cave. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. That goes way down in there. You know, people used to live in here, and it goes on deeper in there to the left. But uh, that's not for me. <laughs> There's more petroglyphs around here somewhere. It's Indian writing there. This, I got up there and uh, somehow.
Look at how we get up there. I think it must be this way. It's very steep walk. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I think these pots is where they, the Indians carved them out to uh, mix food in, I do believe. Whew, it's steep as hell. Steep, y'all. My breath. Oh, yeah. Children are shoveling with pots on. They fell on that lab. Where are they? We're right behind, down below the bushes. Down below? Yep. He's going down oh. there. Just He's following him. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. I heard the pots over here now. Yep. Holy mackerel. Did you have you studied about these? Uh -uh. No. About them today or yesterday. I think they mix their food. Yeah, grind their corn. Huh? Grind their corn. Yeah. Anyway, look here, guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm up. Uh, look, I walked up here. They drove up here. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. See these little pots? The Indians did this. That was about 12, 12 by 16, 12 across, 16 deep. And that's probably an eight by nine. That's about a 10 by uh, eight deep. Oh, these guys are pretty neat. Oh, okay. Cindy's in the car. She couldn't, she couldn't come. She had to stay with Scooter. Okay, we're out of here. The desert. The desert holds so many secrets. It's, <laughs> it's so much fun exploring the desert. I really like it. You take road, the old Yuma Road, go south from the LTBA, you go to road 0139. Now there's another road, 0139, but it has a G after it, 0139G. Don't take that one, go a bit further, and you go to 0139, and you take that road about a quarter mile, and you'll come see these petroglyphs and uh, enjoy it. You can see Tyson Wash here. Remember the one video where we saw Tyson Wash from up on the mountain? This is it. There's some over here too. There's some over here. There's some over here too. Yeah. It's great. A great thing to come see. The season's about over. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. But the next time I come here, or we come here, I'm getting a full wheel drive. There's so much, there's so much we can't go see. Because we have this little Toyota Corolla. And uh, I like the Corolla because it's light. And I tow it behind the car, but Jeep's not much that much heavier. I don't think I... I don't know. I'll have to do some investigation. Okay. That was fun. Then you had to wait in the car because I had so many dogs roaming the area. Look at the mountains. 